what about family history? Does uh, maybe the fact that maybe your parents, they had allergies, does that make a difference? Definitely, if, you're, if your family um, has, uh, has allergies, they tend to run in families. Uh, we talked about this briefly, this immunologic component to this. So obviously the immune system is something you inherit uh, genetically. So if, uh, if your parents had it, if they had asthma, if they had allergies, you're likely to maybe develop those as well. Okay, and there are uh, common allergens. We wanna take a look at some of these. These are kind of like the most common ones, if you will. So let's look at the first one, pollen. pollen. You mentioned that one yeah. a little bit. Very common, uh, tree pollen. We have a lot of mango trees in yes, this area. Yes, mangoes. Those are huge. Um, you don't have to have allergy to the fruit, but you can have an allergy to the flower of the, of the tree. Oh, interesting. Uh, so in the mango season, we see a lot of patients come in and they have mango trees in the backyard and big reaction. Mold. Mold is a big one. Yes. We, had a, we had a hurricane, uh, you know, uh, barely a year ago. And uh, especially in the Keys, they had a lot of uh, mold problems. And um, uh, when the water comes through the walls and that's not That's treated right. correctly. So we're seeing a lot of mold issues, especially in some of the school systems. We see a lot of mold in some of the schools, the older buildings, uh, workplaces. Um, attics, air conditionings, that those kind of places can have a lot of mold and people can have this illness and not know what it's caused by. Exactly. Household dust, that's a big one. Very common. The dust mite that lives in the dust is huge. It lives in your mattress. It can <sighs> live in your pillows. It can live underneath your, your bed. Uh, animal dander. That's another big one. People like to bring their pets into their bedroom, which is something that we encourage them not to if they have allergies. Um, dog or cat and, um, you know, we, I don't, well, I see birds on their feathers around there too, but so, People also have birds at home, and birds can also create allergies as well. Food? Yeah, food's a big one. So food can cause uh, two different reactions. It can cause sort of an immediate uh, anaphylactic reaction where you can't breathe, you get hives, you get swelling. Uh, but it can also cause this sort of delayed reaction where you have something this morning, and then this afternoon your, your stomach feels bad, you have congestion. So there's two different sorts of reactions you can get with food allergies. Okay, medicine obviously is one, because I'm allergic to penicillin. Um, bug stings, that's a big one too. That's a big one. So what kinds are most, the, po the most popular there, would you say, in your uh, opinion? Uh, the, most, the most common in a household, I would say, are, are uh, dust mites. Uh, we see that often. We see trees. We see grasses. Mm -hmm. uh, we see the weeds. We really see it all, but those are the most common. Uh, we're seeing a little bit more mold nowadays. Um, and so we really do see the gamut of all these things, and everybody manifests with different symptoms.